Aries, welcome back to the extension on your reading for June. Listen, past life readings, this is amazing. I don't know what's going on on the planet, but an awful lot of people are waking up and they're finding their goals and they're finding themselves and they're, they're alerting other people and they're communicating their needs. They're communicating and they're breaking off relationships with what doesn't serve them. This communicating with the water sign. Scorpio may be a real issue for some of you, Aries, uh, because they do tend to hide within themselves. And you really find yourself back at square one going, wow, damn. See, look, the six li uh, this is past life relationship. No wonder I brought this up. The six of cups is remembering what it felt like to communicate with this one. Again, this is water energy. This is a past life love you're dealing with. It may be remembrance with this ace, ace of wands and this ace of coins. It may be a gift of the divine, someone coming back into your life. A past life love or twin flame, perhaps. Now, we've already drawn this card. So, I'm going to be drawing love guidance cards from here on. Aries, please share with me what else is showing up for Aries. We need to see, and we need some advice and an outcome. Outcome is you are going to be rewarded. You need to put down the burdens. You, you really don't need to be self-defensive. You don't need, there's no need for that. So they're telling you to put down the, the war garb. Uh, don't go into war Physically, don't put all your energy into proving yourself to other people is your message. Just be. Just could be. Love yourself. Be powerful. Know your destination. Have fun. Play. Um, this is the Aquarius card. It's come up for you. Your guidance is to trust your lucky, to thank your lucky stars, to trust trust your guidance system, to understand that you're able to reach the whole wide world. I see the Aquarian energy as being planetary workers. They've come here with this big dream and vision, and they have a lot of understanding of how to change things. So you have, an, some of you have an Aquarian too that you're working with. This is spiritual insight. This is beautiful, Pleiadian, divine, cosmic guidance from the other side. You're being guided. Allow yourself to be guided. Allow yourself to be guided. Here's the knowledge. You're being guided from the other side. Allow it. We don't know everything. And when we barrel ahead of spirit, we ask for something and we speak it into existence. And then we do something different. It reminds me very, very much of in the Old Testament of King Saul was positioned over the people to guide and lead them, but it was to be a righteous guidance. And he failed something very, very crucial, one of the steps. He got ahead of God. Uh, there was a understanding that you had to go through the high priest back then. You needed someone who could, who could intercede for you to the divine at that time. Now we don't need that, but we needed it back then. And uh, Saul didn't wait for, for Samuel to get there to do the sacrifice. He did it himself, and he found his pleasure within the divine. And so the divine cut him off. I'm taking away your authority because you're going ahead of me. There's a lesson here, you guys. I don't know what it is, and I love you. So take it. He's, I, I learned his lesson from this story. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Be patient. Be temperate. If there's a way that things have to go in order for you to get to your outcome, utilize that. But utilize your spiritual guidance too. Outcome for um, Aries. What is the outcome for Aries for June, please? Thank you, Spirit and Universe, that you love us so much. Thank you so much. Aries, I wish you love and like. Ah, look at that. Look at that. How does this look? Look, 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 look. Aries, this month, there are some of you guys are popping, popping, popping with, with energy, new energy, a new goal, new love, new love. Beautiful, serene, refreshment for your soul. 
It's being offered by the divine. All you need to do is reach out and grasp it. It's here, and some of you are finding your soulmate twin flames. And that's that. That is what that is. That is that. And so, Aries, you're having a brand new start, some of you. You're, you ha had to end it possibly with a water sign or just, you know, clarify your stance with whoever that is that's put you through a lot of changes but not been loyal to you and causing you to feel dreamy and like, oh, my God. What did I miss? So please, Journey of Love, what do you want to say to Aries for June, please? Look at this. Number 11. Eruption of light. Wow. Let's read it. All right, Aries. Hmm. Let's see. Whoa. Yikes, Robin. <laughs> I have to cover my cards uh, with stones. It protects their energy. It's It keeps them sacred energy within. Dadgummit, I hate it when things fall. I guess y'all know that we're all human, right? <laughs> we're on this third dimensional plane, dealing with each other. Look at this, babies. You got a great reading. Here you go. This is your message. Aries, your every prayer is a power-packed eruption of light beamed into the divine presence. Some pray with fear or doubt, as though the prayer is not doing much at all. Yet you understand that prayer is powerful, that it is divine action set in motion. Your power of divine prayer emerges from your heart and out through your throat. Whether you speak or sing your prayer silently within your own mind or aloud for all the world to hear, let your prayers be vocalized as feeling expressed to the divine in words or song, if you choose. <clears throat> you have the power to heal at your fingertips and your vocal cords. Look at, and your vocal cords, eight of wands. Of course you do. Through your voice, you can heal. Let your hands be joined in prayer position at your heart and your mouth open to let the breath of your spirit move through your throat, creating sound. As you speak it, so shall it be. This oracle holds a message for you. Your words have more power than you may realize, and you have a special ability to heal with words, to bring light where it is needed and to uplift through simple kindness spoken. You also have a message to bring. It might be an urge to write or speak on topics that are close to your heart. You may also simply have the need at a soul level just to share from the heart with others when you are engaged in conversations. The oracle says, your voice is part of your power. Do use it. Life begins with love. To complete itself again, symmetry is born. And so it is, my beautiful Aries. Thank you for coming to my channel. Thank you for purchasing this latter half of your reading. I love you. I can't wait to see how this goes. There is new changes in my realm, and I thank you for being with me. Be sure to comment, like my videos. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my Patreon. It'll be it's in my community section. And uh, if you'd like a reading, you can go to my website, robinsrealmreadings.com. You can choose your cards, and then in your comment box, you can email me and tell me what you want. Love you very much, Aries. Blessings. Bye.